What's going on everyone? Dave back again and today, guess what? We've got some unboxing to do. So without further ado, let's get into it. Man, I know you guys have been listening to me here and there talking about I've got some new equipment coming in and well, it's finally here. Um, got a big old box from Amazon. I think I ended up telling you guys that I ended up uh, returning the R80 uh, camcorder because it just wasn't suiting my needs and that money could have gone toward something else. I ended up returning it. I ended up ordering a Sony A5000, which was a downgrade from what this camera is. It didn't have all the features, and its main thing that I didn't have, it didn't have a clean HDMI. So that went back to Amazon. So then I had been seeing this camera, everyone had been telling about it, besides the fact that it does 4K, and it is the Panasonic G7. Kind of saved up, I boosted the extra money to get that. Then I did some poking around on Amazon and I ended up finding out it was cheaper to get a, a combo pack from one of the companies than ordering the camera, just the camera itself. So I did that. Now some of the things I'm going to show you guys in this and it's just basically unboxing and quick showing of what I ended up getting today and I'll do a full overview and everything of the camera and what I'm keeping in a, another video but I'm just super soaked and I wanted to show you guys what I ended up getting. But half of what is in this bundle is going to a coworker's daughter that's really into photography and she's just been using her phone. And so I'm actually giving her my Canon T3 and um, the bag that came with this, the tripod and some of the other things to get her on her way. I think she's like 16 and they're taking a trip to the Netherlands this summer for summer vacation and that'll be a perfect opportunity for her to give this a shot. So without further ado, I'm going to show start off with showing you what didn't come in the bundle that I ended up ordering. So the first thing I ended up ordering was another Joby Gorilla Pod. So I ended up ordering this. I gave one away uh, one away this summer and I ended up ordering another one. And this isn't the huge one like you see Casey Neistat have or some of the other people. That's made more for if you have like the big Canon with the big lenses on there and you need it to hold a lot of weight. Camera is not that heavy. Uh, I have one on the camera that you're looking at right now. And that is the Canon G7X Mark II, which I love that camera. If you're looking for a vloggy camera, and I'm going to do an overview on it because I never did. A lot of the B-roll and the other shots that I end up doing, vloggy shots, that's actually done with this camera. Great and low light, all light, has a flip up screen. Can't do a clean HDMI out on it, but it does fantastic freaking video. And it does even decent uh, audio once you put a yeah, makeshift dead cat on there. I'll show you guys how to do that in another video. So I ended up getting this. It's small, it's portable, it's light. Uh, the new camera only weighs a little over a pound with the kit lens on it. So this is perfect. I didn't really need that, um, but I, I, because I have the one that's on there, but instead of screwing off, screwing on, um, it just makes it easier and more streamlined and that's why it's more important. Other item that I ended up getting that was separate is I ended up getting a powered dummy battery and that's what's in here. We'll do a quick shot of that. So what came in here is there's a cleaning cloth. Oh yeah, the dummy battery brick, which plugs in and then the power brick itself, which is right here. So yeah, that way I can hook this up either over here or up here or here and uh, not have to worry about running the battery down for doing streaming or anything else like that. Another great thing with the new camera is I can use either the lav mic because it's got a microphone plug in or I can use the video micro microphone with it. Uh, I have multiple options that I can end up doing which makes me super happy. Now starting off, uh, one of the other things, this is an item that I'm not keeping. So this is going to be a cleaning kit for the camera itself. Uh, you've got a blower for cleaning dust off the lenses, a cloth, some cleaning tissue, and some lens cleaner on here. One of the other little items that I ended up getting in here, it's a, this is actually a micro SD card or SD card holder. It has a belt loop on here. Um, most of the things that were in here are all by Polaroid, and Polaroid's a good brand and everything. Um, these actually have little markers in each one. I don't know if they're to stick onto the SD cards or to stick in the slot so you know which one goes in where, but that's convenient. You can stick multiple cards in there, keep them nice and secure. 
I don't actually need this because I have, because somewhere I have a hard shell one that clips uh, onto my bag that holds about 20 SD cards, which I fill up most of the slots. One of the other items I ended up getting in the package was it was advertised of having only a UV filter, which I find really curious with the new digital cameras because UV filters are primarily for, um, well, protecting from UV light, except that pertained more to a film than it does to the digital camera. You don't have to worry about UV light degrading film in a digital camera camera but i was pleasantly surprised when i opened the box and this is actually a three piece so it's got the uv filter kind of useless to me it's got a circular a polarized filter so i have one that i ended up getting that attaches to this camera you can rotate it like a sunglass to make it darker it's polarized and it also will cut out glare and light you can make it darker uh, in bright situations trust me it can be a lifesaver and then it's got a fluorescent filter, uh, eliminates an annoying greenish tinge when fluorescent lights uh, add to photos or which fluorescent lights add to photos. I've never really had that issue, but I guess you can put it on there. And uh, so let's take a look at this real quick. So again, it's by Polaroid. It's got three different lenses, but four slots. So there is the polarized. You've got the UV and then you've got the one that's supposed to be for fluorescent lights, which I don't know if I'll ever end up using. Now these are 46 millimeter and I have to keep this separate because I have this one that I'm giving her. These batteries are not going with it. I better remove these now before I end up doing it because these batteries go to the G7X Mark II. And I have the lenses in here. This is the polarized filter for uh, the G7X Mark II. I had this on a trip, but I have the lenses that go in here that go to the Canon big lenses that I'm going to end up giving her. Next up, now the, the company that this ended up coming from is called Ritz Camera. I know they're a night nationwide chain and Ritz has been around for a long time. I mean, I remember my grandmother talking about Ritz photography. So anyway, so this is a micro SD and SD uh, standard SD card reader 3.0. So this will be handy for her for uh, transferring pictures from the camera to her laptop or computer at home. I don't need this because my big computer has a reader and then I also have a separate reader on top of it. So I don't need this. Next up was another battery. Now this I'm kind of, I'm kind of disappointed about. This was the backup battery that came with the, the package. Now this is a 950 uh, mAh battery. But the one that comes in the bat in the camera is, I think, a 1200, uh, 1400. It's a bigger capacity battery. So this isn't quite that big, but it's better than nothing. Next up in the package was this a screen protector, a universal LCD a screen protector. So this is kind of going to be important for me. So uh, hopefully this fits well on the back of the Canon G7 or um, the Panasonic G7. So sorry, talking about three different cameras here, different brands. Um, so yeah, so this will get used on there as added protection. Next up, memory card. So this actually came with a Transcend Ultimate MLC inside 633 times, 64 gig memory card. This actually has a 95 read and 60 megabyte write. This is rated for 4K and uh, this will be nice for doing transfer of 4K from the camera because it'll go faster than the others and you don't have to worry about hangups while it is recording. So I think uh, retail, these are about 40, $45. So yeah, good deal on this. Now this, I can't really get uh, into the shot for the overhead cam, um, but this is a tripod. It's a 57 inch tripod. It is primarily plastic. It is fairly light. It only weighs about two pounds. Um, it is fully adjustable. What is nice about it is it does have a fully uh, articulating head with arm for doing like pan shots, things like that. You can flip it up on its side. I have a super heavy duty and I do mean heavy duty because it weighs probably about eight pounds, almost 10 pounds, heavy metal, a tripod that will go all the way up to, I think it extends up um, to almost six and a half feet. Um, I can easily put a camera at eye level with me. So that one's going to be my main one. I really don't travel with a tripod. So this is going to be going to her as well. 
um, because starting out filming and doing things like that, taking pictures, tripod, it's really good to be able to, you know, until you get comfortable enough to be able to steady shot, take a picture. All right. And one of the last things that you end up getting is a camera bag. Not the greatest thing, but it's nice and bright. It'll hold all your camera stuff. This is going to her as well. Got his little zipper pocket over here on the side for holding batteries, memory cards, whatever else. And a couple pockets here on the other side. And of course, it is branded by Ritz Gear. You can buy these separate. I think they're like $12. So not that bad. All right, moving on. Last but not least, we've got the camera itself. Now, like I said, this is the Panasonic G7K. And uh, this has a Lumex. This is, of course, Lumex branded. Has the Lumex lens on here. Micro four thirds. It does 4K video. Um, I've already flipped it open. I've already charged the battery up about halfway. We're not going to test it out tonight. This is the silver version. I thought I was getting the black version, but the silver isn't really silver. It's more of a gunmetal color. Taking a look at the side over here, taking a look at the other side of all the stuff it ends up doing, 16 megapixel. Now I know that seems not that big, especially considering that the G7X Mark II, I think it's a 22, 24. Camera is a 22 or 24, I can't remember. But 16 is more than enough, unless you're trying to do something for like a billboard. So this has a full HD 1920 by 1080. It does 4K. It has the articulated LCD screen, eight frames per second. It's not the fastest, but I'm not doing, you know, pro photography or high action photography. It does have a touch uh, on the screen, 4K, time-lapse shot, panorama shot, focus peaking, uh, built-in flash, creative control, scene guide, and it is wireless so you can connect that to the app on your phone. Here's the other side and the bottom. And it does give a recommendation for what cards to end up using. Doing a quick pop open, doing a quick pop open. Accessories that you can end up ordering. You got a shutter control, which I actually want to get one for doing time lapses and long exposure shots. You can get a shotgun microphone. I have plenty of microphones. I might end up getting a small shot shotgun, but I don't know what kind of battery you can get mount adapters so that you can adapt to Canon lenses, Nikon lenses, other brands on here. So that is really cool. Flipping open further, you get a CD with a suite of software on here and a trial of Silky Pick Developer Studio. I don't really need that because of all the software I already have. You get a big package of about, there's three manuals. They're all the same in different languages. You get some quick start guides, how to do Wi-Fi connections, the warranty card, things like that. That was another thing too. And I have to contact them because I haven't gotten an email from them yet. But Ritz Camera offered, if you bought the camera new from them, they would extend the one-year warranty that comes with the camera to a three-year warranty free of charge. So one year through the warranty, two years through them. Um, that is another reason that I went with this. The I ended up snagging this uh, for, I want to say it was 572 for the whole bundle. So basically everything except for the Joby Pod and the dummy battery was all included in that. But to buy it new, it's retailed at $7.99 just for the camera. And it's uh, normally been running on Amazon for about uh, $5.97, $5.99. Um, I'll make sure and put links down in the description area for both the accessories that I ended up grabbing and the camera set, uh, just in case you wanna check it out. I'm happy with I'm happy with the purchase um, considering that the Canon or the Sony a5000 was 300 and something the Sony R80 or 800 uh, was 200 and something so it's kind of step up step up but this is a they consider a prosumer or consumer grade uh, SLR and but it does video it does everything that you'd probably want to do if you were wanting to take shots it's not a thousand dollar canon but do you really need a thousand dollar canon i unless you're going completely pro and later on down the road um i don't know all right so you have a listing over here of everything that comes in the package uh in multiple languages just in case um taking a look here you get uh your lens hood 
you get the lens, which um, is really a freaking small. I'll show you guys compared to the Canon lens when we do the overview on this. This is half of the size, at least half of the size of the Canon lens. It's crazy small. Uh, over in this compartment over here, you get the battery. Like I said, I've already opened it and charged it about halfway. You get a charger. You get a micro um, USB. I don't know if that's a micro SB. I think that's the HDMI plug. That looks like a micro HDMI to USB. So yeah, there's that. I don't really need that, but uh, it's nice that it's in there. You get a camera strap. Um, appears to be leather, but I will not end up using that. Made in China. You get the camera itself comes nice in this little clothette type of bag nice and nestled in there and there is the beauty itself so this is when they say silver this is what they're talking about so it's more of a gunmetal it's not like it's shiny now one of the first things and i'll show you how to remove them in the next video is these things if you're taking photography it's not that big of a deal especially if you have the straps attached but man these are irritating as hell if you're filming because they bang around I've already chopped them off of all my other cameras. Sony is notorious and they're almost impossible to get off. These look to be pretty easy. You can just thread them off. So we'll get those off in a later video. Man, it is getting hot in here. Get that jacket off. All right. So taking a look, um, it, like I said, this is just a quick overview. You do have the camera that has the flippy outy screen. It is nice because it will rotate. You can even do downward shots. Um, it rotates both this way. So that is going to be really handy. I've seen a lot of people, they do Instagram uh, videos and both uh, like Twitter, things like that. Doing this way, you can hold it like this. You can do your focusing by this hand and stabilizing. And it's in the proper format for Twitter and Instagram. Um, there are a ton of knobs on here. If you take a look, you have your different shot modes over here. You have timer modes. You have your different settings over here being manual and ap aperture priority, shutter priority, your video. Uh, it's kind of shiny to see on there. You have a function button here, record button. You have, of course, your shutter button. You have an adjustable knob here. You have a dial here, a button here. On the back side here, you have your different aperture priorities. And you can lock it. You have a, a flash button, which it does have a built-in flash. You have a hot shoe mount up here, which that just slides out. If you have a flash that can be powered by the camera, you can just put it into there. Or you can just slide in a microphone or any other accessory. You have another function button that can be programmed right over here. Function button there. Function button there. Function button there. You have your white balance ISO, function number three, and your metering over here. You have your menu button, your display on and off. This does have a sensor right here so that when you put the camera up to your eye, it will automatically shut off the screen so that let's say you bump it with your nose, you're not changing any settings. And of course, this can be flipped around so that you can do it this way. But I usually, uh, but I suggest on like this, when you're storing it or anything, just flip it with the screen in to keep it nice and protected. It's really light. This only weighs like a pound. Um, I like the handle on here. I mean, it looks big and kind of gaudy, but I like it. It's deeper than my Canon. It's deeper than my Sony. Um, I have a long finger, so no matter how I end up doing it, it usually ends up being awkward. And this is a really, really nice. So yeah, guys, um, that was it for this unboxing. That's going to be it for this video. I wanted to do an overview and show you guys before I just tore into it and started doing some stuff. I might take this with me to work tomorrow, do a little vloggy stuff, let you guys see what it looks like in different styles. I might even do a stream to see how it ends up looking. Now I know um, I've said, I think you can upload to 4K, but not everybody's monitors can do 4K. But what is sexy is I can record in 4K on that, downscale to 1080p, and it will be even crisper and sharper images than it, is just in normal um, filming it in that way. Of course, I still have to do research. I still have to learn all the gadgets and ha how to do everything. My understanding that the menu is very intuitive. It is a new menu system that I'm going to have to learn the layout of because it's different than Canon. It's different than Sony. And so, yeah, it'd help if I stayed with one thing, but no, I can't do that. Hope you guys all enjoyed. 
Thanks for sticking around. I hope everybody has a great day and I will see you guys all in the next video. And until then, peace out YouTube.